Let us consider the microscopic features of pituitary gland in this video. I am grateful to Dr. Michael Horsch of University of Michigan Medical School for providing the histology sections used in this video. Pituitary gland or hypophysis cerebri is located in the pituitary fossa. It is attached to the tuber cinereum on the base of the brain through its infundibular stalk. Based on the source of development, pituitary gland is made up of two major parts. The neurohypophysis developing as the downgrowth from diencephalon and adenohypophysis an evagination of the oropharynx called as Rathke's pouch. Neurohypophysis includes median eminence, infundibular stalk and pars nervosa. Adenohypophysis includes pars tuberalis, pars distalis and pars intermedius. Between the pars distalis and pars intermedius, remnant of the cavity of Rathke's pouch can be seen as hypophysial cleft or the intraglandular cleft. Pituitary gland is covered by a capsule which blends with the surrounding meninges. All the three parts of adenohypophysis are made up of glandular epithelium. Pars distalis is the largest part. It shows central portion and two lateral wings. These three parts are separated by vascular trabeculae. Cells in the pars distalis are arranged as cords or irregular follicles. Clumps of these cells are separated by sinusoidal capillaries which are lined by fenestrated endothelium. Based on their staining character, cells in the pars distalis are classified as chromophobes and chromophils. Chromophils are further classified as acidophils taking eosin stain and basophils taking hematoxylin stain. 40% of the cells in the pars distalis are acidophils, 10% cells are basophils and the remaining 50% are the chromophobe cells. Acidophils occupy predominantly the lateral wings of pars distalis. Two types of cells make up the acidophils somatotrophs secreting growth hormone and mammotrophs secreting prolactin. These two types of cells cannot be distinguished in routine HND stained sections. Somatotrophs form 50% of the chromophil cells. They are medium sized oval cells with central nucleus. Mammotrophs form 20% of the chromophil cells. These are large polygonal cells with oval nucleus. Mammotrophs are best seen during pregnancy, their number increasing throughout pregnancy and these cells also undergo hypertrophy during lactation. Basophil cells occupy predominantly the central part of the pars distalis. Three types of cells make up the basophils. They are the corticotrophs secreting pro-opiomelanocortin which is a precursor for adenocorticotrophic hormone, gonadotrophs secreting follicle stimulating hormones and luteinizing hormone and thyrotrophs secreting thyroid stimulating hormone. Again these cells can be best distinguished only by immunohistochemistry. <coughs> Corticotrophs are polygonal medium sized basophil cells with eccentric round nucleus. Gonadotrophs are small oval basophilic cells with eccentric round nucleus. Thyrotrophs are the least in number. They form only about 5% of the population, but they are large polygonal basophilic cells with eccentric nucleus. They secrete PSH. Chromophobe cells form about 50% of the cells in the pars distalis. They have low affinity for stains, therefore they appear pale in color plus they do not have any secretory granules. They are considered to be resting cells or degranulated cells or the precursor stem cells for the chromophil cells. In addition to these chromophobes and chromophils, 
Pars distalis also shows folliculostellate cells. The secretion from chromophyll cells is regulated by hypothalamus either via the portal system or through these folliculostellate cells. Pars intermedius is located between the pars distalis and the pars nervosa. It shows colloid filled follicles. Exact content of the colloid is largely unknown. These follicles are lined by basophil cells as well as chromophobe cells. The basophil cells secrete endorphins and possibly melanocyte stimulating hormone also in humans. The third part of the adenohypophysis is the pars tuberalis. It is highly vascular region containing hypothalamohypophyseal portal system. It also contains cords of gonadotrophs and undifferentiated cells. In the neurohypophysis, pars nervosa is an extension of hypothalamus. The neuronal cell bodies which secrete the hormones of posterior pituitary, they are located in supraoptic and paraventricular nuclei of the hypothalamus. Only their axons are seen in the pars nervosa. Because there are no secretory epithelial cells here, strictly speaking, pars nervosa cannot be considered as an endocrine organ. Instead, it just stores and releases the secretions which are coming from the hypothalamus. Pars nervosa shows unmyelinated axons that form the hypothalamohypophyseal tracts. These axons end on the fenestrated sinusoidal capillaries of pars nervosa to release their secretions. In addition, pars nervosa also shows supporting cells known as pituicides. These are the modified astrocyte type of glial cells. The neural secretory vesicles which are found within these axons contain either antidiuretic hormone or oxytocin. These vesicles accumulate within the axons to form dilatations at places just before the nerve terminals. Those dilatations are called as herring bodies. They appear as small islands of dark colored masses as shown here or as eosinophilic islands in case of HND stained sections. So quickly recollecting whatever we have seen so far, adenohypophysis is made up of pars distalis, pars intermedius and pars tuberalis. Pars distalis has chromophobes and chromophils. Chromophils are in turn of two types, acidophils and basophils. Acidophils include somatotrophs and mammotrophs, while basophils include corticotrophs, gonadotrophs and thyrotrophs. Pars intermedius has colloid filled vesicles which are lined by basophilic cells which are likely to be corticotrophs and the chromophobe cells. Pars tuberalis is highly vascular area and it has gonadotroph cells and undifferentiated cells. Neurohypophysis includes median eminence, infundibular stalk and pars nervosa. Pars nervosa consists of unmyelinated nerve fibers and the pituicides. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video. You can visit this site for similar histology videos.